Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Kakadash, the monarchs of the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth. Preaching this truth out in faith and sincerity. Honor, Brother Shemal, from the GMS Houston Camp. And this is going to be a quick lesson uh, through the Spirit of Psalms 37 and um, 14. Right, so this is Psalms 37 and 14. It says, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have cast and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as of and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Now who is the wicked? Right, according to the scriptures, right, who is the wicked? Not according to what I say, not according to what anybody else says, but who does the scriptures say the wicked are? Let's just get some indicators real quick. This is Job 9, 9 and 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So it means the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, meaning that the earth, right, the current condition or the current planet earth that we're living on today, right, was given into the hands of somebody, meaning they have control of it. I Meaning they have a say so of everything. All right? And who could that be? Who could it be? Who who whose face is on the money? All right? Who's calling the shots? Who's got the so called greatest military? The so called white man. It says, uh the earth is given unto the unto the hand of the wicked he covered the face of the judge the rough is not with who is he right like the the heavenly father and his son and the angels they got them all painted as white they that's what it means he covered the face of the judges all right because the ultimate judge is the most high right but yahweh Shai said that the most High committed I, I put all judgment into his hand right and we are judges as well you see and a, everything is whitewash. So who who did this? So called white man. That's that's a clear indicator. And another scripture, Malachi one and four says, "Whereas Edom says we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." So he says Edom, and that's the so called white people, right? They they are known as the Edomites in the scriptures. It says, "Thus said Yahweh, folks, they shall build, but I will throw down." They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. So they are the border of wickedness. Wherever they go, wickedness will be there. Wherever they go, wickedness follows because wickedness is in them. All right, the Most High has ingrained that in their spirit. And in the book of Habakkuk, it said that, hey, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. So he was made crooked. He was made to be evil. He was made to be the wicked. So let's go back to Psalms 37 and 14. The wicked, all right, who we have, we know who that is, have drawn out the sword. Now, when you go to the blessing of Jacob, and Esau, Esau's blessing was that sword. And he was going to live by that sword, which is weaponry. But hey, he got to the point to where guns and, and all of that and knives, right, it's not all that's in this man's arsenal he he weaponized everything the 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 air the food the water you see his loss all right and this is this is what he's using right oh also you can't forget about the media all right that's that's a part of his arsenal too all right he weaponized it's everything and that's how he rules the earth and that's how he stays in power it says the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy. Who is that? That's the Israelites. Look at the condition that we're in. All right, we on we are on a uh, a low level in this society, right? Because of the transgression that we are committed against the heavenly Father, and He used Esau even to put us in this condition. See, so we are the poor and the needy. You see, <laughs> we need a lot of things. Shit, we need salvation. You know, most importantly, it says and to slay such as be of upright conversation. So, right, 
he's slaying us, you see, through, you know, uh, different different laws, right? He going to demonize us, right? And even when we speak out against certain things, we get demonized, we get slayed, right, spiritually. See, because if you ain't with this place, like the scriptures say that uh, basically you make yourself a prey. He that departed from wickedness making himself a prey. Or you are a target. And if you ain't with this man's system, you ain't trying to bow down. Or you are a problem. You are a threat. And you know, you can't you can't be here. It's something you gotta be dealt with. You see? And it would even get to a point where some of us will get, you know, physically touched. Like put to death, but you know, it's all good. Right? Because we know what comes after. Right, eternal life, right? In the kingdom of, 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 of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right, that's the reward. You see, so there's nothing to fear. Right, but it says, slay us such as be a bright conversation. All right, and that goes into, let me see what this word says. Right, conduct. The Rock, Strong's H, 1870, The Rock. Right, it says, way, road, distance, journey, manner. Road, way, path, journey, direction, manner, habits, way, course of life, moral character. So the way that you carry yourself, right? Being a man in society, you would be looked down upon. You wouldn't be masculine, right? They call it toxic masculinity. And you can't even be that no more. You see, without people having something to say. Without people, you know, uh, coming up against you for, for wanting to be a man. For wanting you to be how the Most High intended the man to be, All right? You started and flipped everything, everything that's supposed to be righteous or deemed as wicked, and everything that is deemed as wicked is righteous. So Isaiah five and twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So everything is really. Just flipped around. This is an evil society, hey. But you ask somebody, somebody else, they gonna be like, man, hey, nah. America is, is great, you know. Um, God bless America, and all of this, all of these things of that nature. But the Most High is far from this place. The Most High, the Most High ain't dealing with America. Hey, right? the Most High is <laughs> dealing with Esau on a certain level to bring, uh, to pass certain prophecies and bring forth judgment because that's his sword. But ultimately, the the Most High gonna judge him, and America is gonna be taken out for for its transgressions because it says the sands have reached unto heaven, and then not that the land has done anything, but the people who was ruling the land, right? And the, the the wicked will be rooted out of rulership, and the righteous will be set up for so into second edge of six and nine, right? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see, so this man got a short time. You don't do what you gotta do, right? But hey, it's all good, <laughs> you know, cause we go win in the end. We got the victory that Yahweh shot already. You know, so uh, that was a lesson. And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.